and down the level three, the new one. Okay. And then I only got an M5, so it's under, under power. Yes, sir. I can't even get them this well. Nice. You built this? Yeah. Very nice. Whoa. And you still working on it, or are you going to sell off the sides? And he said it's, what is this wire to, since it's three subs? Uh, 0.74, I think. Okay, around 0.7. Yeah. Very nice. And it's a fourth order, like a two to one or? Two to one. Two to one. All right. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. Use discount code Jacob Vile when you shop at Down for Sound, Sky High Car Audio, and others. Links in the description. Anyway, what's your name? Mike. Uh, so are they still breaking in? Or? Yeah, yeah, just put them in, Jeff. Yes, sir. Wow. I like this brace. Where'd you get that from? That's pretty cool. Uh, home just made it work? Yeah, home Depot. All good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So just one ant doing that. Pretty good. Nice job. Okay, I'll go look at that. Awesome. What's going on? I'm Jacob Vile. I hope you enjoyed the quick walk around. We got a mic system at the Slamfest Audio Show in Tampa, Florida area. Be sure to give him a like and comment what you like about his system. I definitely like that he chose to go with a triple sub system. Three of the Sundown XV3 15-inch subs. I'm pretty sure that's what they were seeing from inside the motors. And if you notice, these is 90 amp hours of limitless lithium battery bank to help support for this 8,000 watt RMS amplifier, the Digital Design 8K. So if you notice the way the port layout is, I like that it is uh, fourth order, so it gives you a little bit better broader bandwidth and being a two to one ratio, helping a little bit with that SPL peak and having the top port so you don't have to worry about headrest issues. The amplifier was down there. Didn't really see any other amplifiers or battery banks. So everything's pretty much in the back toolbox for the lithium electrical side. And that's the specs I saw on the Digital Design website. 8,000 watts rated at 14.4 volts. Pretty powerful little amplifier for the uh, size footprint space. Technology has definitely improved the last few years on that. And notice the way he was saying he was still a work in progress. You still got to seal off, but on the side panels of a wall, if you ever install a system like this, seal those off will adjust your frequency peak as well as give you maybe 2 or 3 dB gain I've seen. And it just really depends on the system. So a total of 8,000 watts on three 15-inch subs. If you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button. I do daily car audio videos every day on Jacob Vile. We're coming to this four-minute demo now. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the demo. Pretty impressive for a triple sub system in a truck. Every day, never. If you work with the people, 